I in this short video I'm just gonna I just discovered Solana Pay recently. Um came out what is Solana Pay? Solana Pay is a standard protocol and set of reference implementations that enable developers to incorporate decentralized payments into their apps and services. In short, what it is is basically you can go to a merchant and what you can do is you can do this. Check this out. This is what it is. A point of sale system. You scan it with Phantom. You send $4.5 and it processes the transaction, right? Um, breakthrough, breakthrough thing. It is basically a competitor to the Lightning Network and point of sale system of Lightning Network. So what I'm going to do here is really just for the very first time I found this uh, example implementation from the official Solana Pay repo and I'm going to just uh, see how to deploy it and see how it works. So let's just clone this repository real quick. Let me take that and go back to Visual Studio. Let's open this up. See the desktop and then Solana Learning. And then we're going to do a git clone of this repo. Fair and square. There it is. All right, we're going to open that folder. All right, so I have it opened in Visual Studio Code. What we're going to do is we're going to go here, point of sale. Let's go back to the documentation, what it says. Um, so read the docs to get started. Run the open source Solana Pay point of sale app. There it is. So, Node.js, we have Node.js, we have Yarn, set up two wallets on Phantom, merchant and customer. So what I'm gonna do is, let me just check. All right, so we have here our DevNet wallet, um, DevNet wallet one, and then we have another DevNet wallet two with a little bit of soul in it. And what we're gonna do Create a merchant wallet. Let's, let's click on this guide. Right, so creating a new wallet, um, and then we have already changed to DevNet. You can change to DevNet right here. If I move this a little bit down, then you can come here, you can do change network, and then you just select DevNet, and it will give you this little nice um, heads up that you're on DevNet, right? So, um, airdrop sold to customer wallet. Yep, yeah, we already have the customer wallet. So we're going to use this dev2 wallet as our, as our wallet that we're going to pay with. And then we're going to use the dev1 as the merchant wallet, just because it doesn't really have that much soul in it right now. All right. So we're going to clone the repo. We're going to install dependencies. All right, let's install our dependencies. What we're going to do open up a terminal. We're going to do CD point of sale and then yarn install. This will probably take a second. So I might just cut the video right here and get back until it returns. All right, we have installed all of our dependencies. Let's go back to the documentation where it says, so you're just going to do yarn start and that is going to start our point of sale system in our browser. Oh, it seems to have errored out. Stream Browserify. How come, I wonder? I'm just going to do npm install. Let's see. I might have something weird with my yarn because I've faced this issue before that yarn install misses some packages, but npm install is able to install all the packages. So let's just see. Wait. Port 123.0. Five, four could not be used, so it should be running on local host serve indexed stream browserify. Okay, well, uh, what we're gonna do is just um, hack it, and I'm gonna do yarn install stream browserify. What? Okay, yarn add bam bam bam. Just going to install this manually. I'm not sure why it's having an issue when we should have it. I don't know where that's coming from. It's coming from Parcel. 
seems like parcel resolver default um, types eslim yeah, parser parcel yeah there it is I'm not sure why that's an issue but we just install it manually and let's see if that works okay, all right let's try right yarn start again okay that worked so something something unmet dependency something something let's see if this one works okay let's open that Ooh, would you look at that solana pay is working let's open a new terminal window let me move myself up here um so our server is running seems so and so coming back to the documentation what we need to do is open a local host with the port and then recipient and then your merchant address name all right let's do that i'm just going to open back up let's create a temporary one your merchant address so this is going to be the address that you're going to be receiving the payments to and what I'm going to do is get that address from Phantom. Let's just open up Phantom. And this is going to be our 9V is going to be our merchant address. Go back here, add it there. Label is my Solana shop. Okay, so what we're going to do is, yeah, that's not the right port that we're running on. We're running on 54.5.12, right? So we're going to replace that, and then we're going to come here, and then we're going to open that. And if all goes well, we should be receiving a QR code that, oh, wow, this is amazing. All right, so how much am I going to pay? Let's, let's do... Um, Let's do, um, I'm going to pay one soul. Now I'm going to pay 0.2 soul. And then we're going to generate the payment code. So just to make sure, in current, we have 0.1 soul in our merchant account. Generate payment code. And we have this payment code. What we're going to do is I'm just going to go over to my phone and pull up the screen recording. Oh, okay. Well, that, um, that worked. I'm guessing in the background, stuff is still being built and packaged. It takes a while for Yarn to package everything up or something similar. But yeah, we're going to go over to my phone. So right now on the phone, we have, um, we have our customer wallet on DevNet currently. And what we're going to do is we are just going to hit this QR code up on the top. This uh, QR code icon at the top. And we're going to scan it right there. I guess I already scanned it. And that we're, what we're going to do is, well, it's interesting that it asks me how much soul I want to enter amount. Huh, this is not, this is not what I wanted to do. Let me um, try it one more time. Um, let me try it one more time so that let me just stop this. All right, so that we're gonna come over here, and if we look at the if you look at the specification on the Solana Pay website of um, specification, and then here is the um, example. All right, label message. Fish memo order ID amount one. So this is what we're gonna this is what we're gonna do. So merchant address amount. I'm gonna copy this whole thing. There we go. Visual Studio Code. So what we're gonna do is right here. So the question mark. There's no question mark here. So amount one. We're gonna do at amount one. We have a label already. We're going to do a message, thank you for all the fish, and the same one, and then memo is going to be the same one. So we're going to copy this, 
and we're going to type it into our terminal as usual. And here in this case it comes up as enter amount in soul, which is interesting because because if I I wanted to pre-specify the amount, but it seems that that's not working at the moment. Um, we've got to have to check back later on why. So what we're going to do is to specify 0 0.1. We're going to generate our payment code, and it says right here already 0 0.1. So we're going to come back here and scan it, and now it comes up as 0 0.1. In current Phantom, I'm not sure if I don't have the latest version, but it's not showing the uh, the label or the message or the, the the merchant. I'm guessing there's going to be an update coming soon. And what I'm going to do is come back here to my merchant wallet. Um, this is my merchant wallet, 9v7n. And we're going to execute the transaction. We're going to hit send. And the page refreshes automatically. I have sent it from my phantom wallet. And it's complete. And we have received the we have received the soul this is nuts guys this is nuts how well this works already straight out of the box um amazing job from everybody amazing job for for everybody involved this is this is amazing this is amazing stuff um that's it i just wanted to make a really quick i just wanted to try it out and thought i'd record it and put it on youtube because why not you know Somebody might stumble across it. So, uh, get y'all in.